Caffeine is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive drug. It is found in coffee, tea, cola, energy drinks, and in some brands of ice cream, candy bars, and even beef jerky or potato chips. Caffeine is not considered to be addictive, but people can develop a physical dependence and experience severe withdrawal symptoms when they decrease their caffeine intake. The physical dependence on caffeine can easily occur when people drink too much coffee, cola or energy drinks. With the insidious addition of caffeine to different processed foods, even children can be affected. Caffeine, for example in coffee or energy drinks, is generally consumed for its stimulating effects. But the stimulating effects and health benefits and downsides do not affect every individual in the same way. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Psychoactive effects Caffeine is best known for its stimulating effects on the central nervous system, resulting in the desired reduction in drowsiness in most people. But some experience the opposite effect. Caffeine is known to induce mild anxiety and insomnia in some people. At high doses, it can cause and worsen anxiety. If you experience drowsiness despite high caffeine consumption or experience anxiety or insomnia, try to abstain from caffeine for a couple of weeks to discern its effect on your health. Caffeine also affects some parts of the autonomic nervous system, resulting in changes in blood pressure or heart rate. These effects also differ strongly between people due to health status, age and activity during or after consumption. Health Effects of Coffee Coffee and tea are healthier caffeine sources than cola, energy drinks or highly processed foods. The latter should not be consumed on a regular basis. Coffee and especially tea offer health benefits, not for everyone though, and not in any amount, but a regular consumption of coffee and or tea can be part of a healthy diet. Possible health benefits of coffee include lower risk for Alzheimer's disease and liver cirrhosis, reduced inflammation, improved lung function, insulin sensitivity and depression. There are various aspects to optimize in regards to coffee consumption. For example, the roasting procedure, the preparation method, Italian press, filter, etc. The timing and what you add to it and various health conditions. When to avoid coffee? If you suffer from anxiety, glaucoma or gastroesophageal reflux disease, you should avoid coffee altogether. If you have other psychological disorders, you could try to avoid coffee for a few weeks to see if you are sensitive to its effects. If you suffer from insomnia or have trouble with your memory, make sure to only drink coffee early in the morning. Even if that is not the case, you should still not drink coffee in the evening. Drinking filter coffee can help with your LDL cholesterol levels, as other preparation methods include residues of the coffee bean, including fatty acids that raise LDL cholesterol. The less coffee bean residue is left in the coffee, the better for your LDL cholesterol levels. Coffee and chlorogenic acid Coffee beans contain a health-promoting polyphenol called chlorogenic acid. This polyphenol is theorized to be central to the health benefits of coffee. But the chlorogenic acid content of coffee can differ greatly, with Starbucks coffee containing up to 30 times less chlorogenic acid than other coffee brands. The milder the roast, the more chlorogenic acid is left in the coffee. Up to 90% is removed by roasting. Thus, green coffee, made from unroasted coffee beans, contains the most chlorogenic acid. Cow's milk blocks the health-promoting effects of chlorogenic acid by more than half. This does not happen with plant milks. Health effects of tea Green and white tea contain less caffeine than coffee. Black tea can contain similar amounts of caffeine as coffee. Many detrimental effects of coffee do not pertain to green and white tea. And indeed, overall, green and white tea are healthier than coffee. And white tea is a bit healthier than green tea. But obviously, you should not worry too much about these differences. 
Interestingly, the blocking effects of cow's milk also happen with tea. The vasculatory benefits of tea, for example, completely vanish when you add cow's milk. For your information, tea leaves can be consumed whole, so they can be added to smoothies, for example. But make sure your tea leaves are not heavily contaminated. Let's summarize. Caffeine is a psychoactive drug. It can improve or worsen your psychological health. Caffeine is found in coffee and tea, but also in cola, energy drinks and in some brands of ice cream, candy bars and even beef jerky or potato chips. Coffee can have various health benefits, but not for everyone and not in any amount. People with anxiety, glaucoma or gastroesophageal reflux disease should not drink coffee. The earlier you drink your coffee, the less caffeine will disturb your sleep and memory. Filtered coffee does not raise your LDL cholesterol. Coffee prepared with other preparation methods does. The polyphenol chlorogenic acid is central to the health benefits of coffee. The milder the roast, the more chlorogenic acid is left in the coffee. Do not add cow's milk to coffee, as it blocks chlorogenic acid even further. White tea is healthier than green tea, which is healthier than coffee, but coffee can be overall health promoting for you. The blocking effects of cow's milk also happen with tea. How do you like to drink your coffee? Have you found a plant milk you like to add to your coffee? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you next week.